Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a pack of 2014 Panini Prism Football Cello Pack number 26. Unfortunately, this is not the last fill. There is actually one more that we got to do, but we're giving two Phoenix Division spots away here. So, and so we're giving away six extra spots within this break itself. So you might get an extra spot. That might be the difference between getting a Phoenix spot or not. All right, so there's the six spots right there. So everyone gets a shot at it. So that's our first dice roll. Second dice roll will be for the break itself. And the third dice roll will be for the giveaway. So let's do top six, right? That's six right there, yeah. Top six after 10 and 10, five and a five, 10 times. Not 10 and a 10, five and a five, 10 times. Tired folks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So after 10 times, here's your top six extra spots for Jason, Dennis, Matt, Raymond, Brian, Nicole. So congrats to the top six. Gather all those there. There's all the teams there. Now let's do the break itself. Five and a six, 11 times for names and teams. One, two. Really, Chilo? Was it an employee or just some rando? What kind of sword was it? Like a, like a broadsword in Braveheart? Or a samurai sword from a samurai movie? A katana from like uh, another action movie? A Hanzo sword from Kill Bill? Maybe a, maybe a sword from, maybe a, a sword that they used to use, that pirates used to use, like in Master and Commander, or Pirates of the Caribbean. A saber. Or perhaps more of an old French dueling type sword, like the Three Musketeers used to use. Welcome to Sword Talk with your host, Joe Jaspi. Ah, it was a rando just on drugs. It was a samurai sword. Oh, the police end up shooting the person. You run the risk when you go on a drug-fueled rampage with a samurai sword. You run the risk of getting, getting shot and killed by authorities. That happens. Right, they could not stop the bullets with the sword. That's that's a difficult task. Unless unless this person possessed the skills of a Jedi. But this person did not, apparently. Now, Gila, this was, at, this was at your office. They locked, locked you down your office. Where were you? Did you, were you like rattling the doors being like, listen, let me at him. I'm going to save the day. Were you, were you going to be a hero, Gilo? Were you just like, let me at him? Think Matt Hazel knows about Sister Hazel? Right, 
nothing too crazy there. What about the uh, red, white, and blue? There's Daenerys Stonehenge Moor. Prince Helig Marshall Plot. All right, nothing too crazy there. Let's see who wins those Phoenix spots. There's everyone's names right there. Third and final dice roll. Top two. After eight. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so there's going to be a lot of sad people here, so I apologize ahead of time. Devin, very close, but just not quite. Appreciate everyone giving this shot, though. But only the top two can get in to that Phoenix full case divisional break. That's Sean Robinson. Congrats. That's like a $600 spot. And Connor. So congrats to the both of you. Thanks, everyone, for giving this a shot. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.